What's up mobile devs? Today we are going to build from scratch this super simple React Native animation using just the React Native reanimated package. This animation from my point of view hasn't only an educational purpose but can be easily reused in so many use cases. To make it I referenced an animation I found on Twitter a few months ago that really engaged me. If you want to take a look I leave the tweet in the video description. Before moving on, I would like also to remind you that if you're interested in React Native in general, you can support me by simply subscribing to the channel or by going to the Buy Me A Coffee website. That said, let's jump to the next part. So here I've already initialized the React Native project with the Expo CLI and I've already installed the reanimated package inside this project. So in order to complete the reanimated installation process, I've also included the reanimated plugin inside the bubble config.js file. That said, we can start to remove this status bar and this text, and we can start to define our flat list component. So we are going basically to define the list as a flat list, and we are going to return the we are going to create the list item inside the render item function. So uh, here we are going to specify each item as a view with an height equal to 80 with with the 90% of the uh, screen width and uh, let's say for now uh, background color equal to red. So we need to remove these two styles and we need to define just an item to see something. So here uh, we are going to fill this uh, data property with uh, uh, an array of 50 different objects. So let's uh, create here our data array. We are going to fill it just with zero for now and we are going to iterate throughout the index and to return uh, different objects with incremental ideas. So basically, uh, the array will be something similar to this to that. So uh, the first element will be id zero, the second one id one, third one id two, and so on and so forth until id forty nine. So here uh, we can pass the data array right here, and we can see all our data here. So. Um, of course, uh, let's add the margin top between the uh, list items. Let's say 20. Uh, let's add some radius equal to 15. Let's center the items. And uh, let's change the uh, background color. Uh, so I believe uh, we can use uh, this color. It wasn't this one. So let me check a second. So I've just copied the, the color used uh, inside the Twitter example that I've uh, showed you previously. So for uh, styling purposes, we can simply add the padding top property to the content container style equal to 40, and we are good to go. So uh, basically, uh, we are going to deal with the animation and we are going to animate just this uh, uh, render item, uh, so just the uh, list item component. But we are going to do that for each item uh, of the uh, data array. And in order to write uh, better code, it is a better option to create a separate component for this uh, list item uh, component. So let's create the components folder. And let's define here the list item file.tsx. So we are just going to define here the list item component. And we are going to copy the same component that we have defined previously. So we can simply import the list item from the components list item file. And we are good to go. So here um, we can see that the result is identical to the previous result. So um, how we are going to animate, so how we are going to deal with the uh, item list item animation. First of all, we are going to animate by checking the if the current item is visible or not. And in order to do that, uh, we are going to use the onViewable 
items changed to callback from the React Native Flatlist. So thankfully, with this callback, we can access the current viewable items and we can check if an item is, vi is visible or not. So here, uh, React Native is complaining about the fact that we are reloading uh, and uh, therefore we are changing the unviewable items property, but it isn't a huge uh, issue. Of course, in production, uh, we are not going to reload and uh, the application will not crash. So let's reload right now. And we can see right here all the viewable items. So we can see that uh, uh, the, the index and we can see inside the item property our current item with the ID and the effective item ID. And by scrolling, we can see that this callback is called again with the different items inside the item property. So uh, basically we are going to access uh, this uh, property inside the list item and we are going to check inside this list item component if the item is currently visible or not. And in order to do that, we are going to store these viewable items, uh, these viewable items uh, uh, array inside a shared value. We are going to pass this shared value throughout this list item. And inside this list item, we are going to check uh, uh, if it is visible or not. So uh, of course, uh, theoretically, uh, is uh, hard to follow, but we are going to do that step by step. So first of all, let's create uh, these viewable items uh, um, shared value with the use shared value hook from reanimated. It will be at the beginning just an empty array and the uh, type of uh, viewable items will be the same of these uh, viewable items uh, uh, from this unviewable items change callback. So basically we just need to copy view token. So here let's import view token from React Native. And we need to store these viewable items inside this one. So by writing viewable items, you can see that React Native is complaining. And that's because this, there is a conflict between the name of these viewable items and this one. So let's rename it in V items. So viewable items dot value will be, uh, will store the uh, V items return from this uh, unviewable items callback. And we are going to pass this view, uh, this viewable items shared value to this list item. So viewable items. Uh, so right now uh, we need, of course, uh, to define the viewable items property inside the list item props. Let's say here viewable items equal to animated shared value of type view token. And here we go. So you can see that TypeScript is not complaining anymore. And we can save. So um, Inside the list item component, we are going to check if the current item is uh, uh, inside is included inside the viewable items array. And in order to do that, we need to pass to this list item also the uh, effective data uh, item. So we can simply access the current item from the render item uh, function, and we can pass it to this list item. So item will be ju will just be an object uh, from this data array. So it will have an ID of type number. So you can see it right here. Uh, but of course we need to add this item type inside the list item props. And you can see again that the uh, TypeScript is not complaining anymore. So right now we have all the ingredients needed uh, in order to complete our animation. So first of all, inside the list item component, since we are going to animate this view, we need to, to convert this view into an animated view. So remember that uh, I'm uh, always taking animated from React Native reanimated and not from React Native. So right now we can start to define our reanimated style. We are going to use the hook use animated style and we are just going to return the opacity equal to one for now. So we are going to pass this reanimated style 
to this animated view style. And here we are going to check if it is visible or not. So let's access the item and the viewable items property. And here let's retrieve if the item is visible or not. So uh, in order to do that, we are going to iterate, iterate all over the viewable items uh, values. We are going first of all to filter all the items that are not viewable. So here item is viewable. And we are going to check if this item is included inside this filtered array. So here let's check if there is a viewable, viewable item. Let's check if viewable items contains this item right here. So, and we are going to check just the idea. So let's wrap everything with boolean. And here we are good to go. So uh, let me explain again what we are doing. We are just taking the viewable items. So we are, we are filtering uh, th these uh, viewable items just uh, by taking uh, the items that are currently viewable. And we are trying to check if uh, there is uh, inside this array an item that has the same ID of this item. If there is an item that has the same ID, we can, see, we can uh, uh, say that uh, this item is currently viewable, so it's currently visible. Otherwise, uh, we are going to return false. So uh, if the response of this find called of the defined method is uh, um, undefined, uh, we are just going, uh, thanks to this boolean function, we are just going to return false. Otherwise, uh, uh, if it uh, uh, is an object, uh, the boolean function will just return true. So inside this, uh, uh, inside this return, we can simply wrap everything with the with timing function, and we can check if it is visible. If it is visible, we are going to return one. Otherwise, uh, if it is not visible, the opacity will be equal to zero. So by uh, reloading, of course, uh, nothing is working as expected. And that's because uh, uh, I made a simple mistake here. I'm not checking uh, actually the viewable item dot item idea. So that's uh, simply that, hopefully. And we can see right now that the animation is working nicely. So uh, of course, we don't want just to animate the opacity. We can also animate the scale property. So here, let's simply use again the with timing uh, high order function. Of course, I'm importing with timing from React Native Reanimated. So if it is visible, the scale will be equal to one. Otherwise, it will be equal to 0 0.6, for instance. And here you can see the animation working nicely. So you, you can, for instance, uh, also just animate the scale. You can really animate whatever you want uh, uh, inside this animation. So I think that this animation is very useful to know. It's uh, quite simple and you can apply in a lot of different use cases. So hopefully if uh, this video was helpful, remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you want to give uh, to leave uh, some suggestion for the future videos on this channel. Thank you very much for staying with me all that time and see you to the next one.